Hello friends, an often used parameter when it comes to studying the fundamentals of a company is the financial ratios. Financial ratios helps in deciding the financial valuation of the company. And there are a lot of ratios such as price to earnings ratio, net profit margin, interest coverage ratio, etc. used for valuation analysis of a company. So today, let us understand EV by EBITDA multiple. Now, EV by EBITDA or enterprise multiple is used to determine the value of a company. It looks at a firm in a way a potential acquirer would look to buy considering the company's books. This is used to see whether a company is undervalued or overvalued. A low ratio means it's below 1, that means the company is undervalued. Whereas a high ratio means that the company's ratio is above 1 and thus the company is overvalued. A company with a low enterprise multiple can be considered as a good takeover candidate. It removes the effect of company's non-cash expenses on its values. It is extremely difficult to arrive at the correct valuation at times since the company's enterprise value takes into consideration a lot of factors and it is different for different companies. Cash rich companies have a different number compared to companies which are leveraged and it becomes difficult to value especially when we come across these kinds of sectors. So, what is the uh, formula for enterprise multiple? How do we calculate EV2 EBITDA? We calculate EV2 EBITDA where EV means you take the market capitalization plus the debt plus minority interest plus preferred shares and minus your total cash and cash equivalents. These all you can find in balance sheet. Then EBITDA means earnings before interest, tax, depreciation and amortization which means from total sales you subtract total expenses and then add back interest, tax and depreciation which are all expenses. These all you can find in profit and loss statement in the balance sheet. Once you can calculate all these, you will have EB and EBITDA, both. Now, using the formula EV divided by EBITDA, you can understand whether the company is undervalued or overvalued. So, EV means the enterprise value. So, valuation of three companies today we will understand. The one is Marico, Britannia and Hindustan Unilever from the stockage app to understand which company is undervalued and which should be bought. So enterprise value means the actually the value of the company. So let us understand from the stockage app, we will take Hindustan Unilever first to understand the EV by EBITDA ratio of this company. So when we check on the valuation ratios, we see that EV to EBITDA ratio for this company is 36.31. Next, we move on to Marico and check out under the relative valuation that what is the EV to EBITDA ratio for this company. And then when we see, we see that EV to EBITDA ratio of this company is 34.53. And when we move on to Britannia Industries and check out the EV to EBITDA ratio for this company, then what we find is that EV to EBITDA ratio for this company is 35.79. So here in the FMCG sector, we can see that EV to EBITDA ratio for major of these companies is actually the same. So you can check out on the various other parameters whether you can check out if you can invest into these companies or not because EV2 EBITDA of these companies is giving us a mixed picture that they are all equal. But if you want to know more about this ratio, then you can log on to our website blog.stockage.com and understand the ratio in detail. Hope you liked our video. If you want to know more about such ratios, then like, subscribe and share so that you are the first one to see our latest video. And if you want us to make a video on any other topic, then do feel free to write to us. Thank you.